Okay, and now we want to differentiate this implicit function, all right, just by using the chain rule. So we have it to be x raised to the power of 3 plus y raised to the power of 3 equals to 8. Great. Okay, so to differentiate this, that is to find the derivative of y respect to x, keeping in mind that y here is a function of x, we just find the derivative of both sides, okay? So I'm going to put it down. Derivative respect to x of x cubed plus y cubed, okay? And that right there is equal to, so we just differentiate the both sides the same way, derivative with respect to x of 8, okay? Good. And now, we are going to split this, you know, since this is a sum of two terms, okay, we are going to differentiate each of the terms. So that would mean we are going to have the derivative with respect to x of the first term, which is x raised to the power 3, right? We're going to add it with, well, uh, this is the addition, the derivative with respect to x of y raised to the power 3, okay? And then we're going to equate it with, well, the derivative of 8, okay, with respect to 8, with respect to x is just going to be 0, all right? Because 8 is just a constant, all right? Good. Okay, so we now have it here to be the derivative with respect to x of x raised to the power of 3. So this right here is just a constant, um, just a power function. So we want to differentiate that. We're going to have to bring down the power and then subtract 1 from it, all right? So we bring down the 3, multiply with x, and then subtract 1 from this 3, all right? Okay, that is just by applying the power rule. Then we add it with derivative of y to the power 3 with respect to x. Okay, so when I introduced implicit functions, okay, how to differentiate it, all right, I showed you that when you differentiate um, y here, raised to some power, you will have to bring the power to the front, that will be 3, okay, put down the y, then you subtract 1 from it, okay, just by applying the power rule, all right, and again, you multiply it with dy dx. So you do the outside function, which is the power 3. When you differentiate it, you just put it 3y, then 3 minus 1, all right? And then you multiply it with dy dx because y is a function of x. So here we have y to power 3, which is a power function, and y itself is a function of x. So we did that by applying the chain rule. Good. And now here we are going to have 3x squared plus 3y squared, right? And then... Multiply it with dy x, and we equate this to zero. Okay, so our interest is to find the derivative of y respect to x. That means you want to make this to stand alone on one side, all right? So I'm going to have to move every other thing to the right hand side. So from here we will have, well, I'm going to put this down 3y squared, then dy dx, okay, this will be equal to. I move this to the right hand side, that will become negative 3x squared. That other term, okay? And then we divide both sides by 3y squared. That means that dy x will now become negative 3x squared divided by 3y squared, okay? And this will give us negative x squared divided by y squared as the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, so this right here is just what we get. Okay. Alright, great. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.